Uh, today, it's a big story on Jane Frazier at City, who officially takes over today. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought the Cal Tomei piece was good, and I had her on Mad Money, and the stock is hated right now. I don't know why. Sells at 18 times earnings, 2.5% yield. She guaranteed that Christmas would be good, and it was. She's a person of her word. Uh, Jane Frazier comes in. I've always felt that when would a major bank be run by a woman, given the fact that the finances in so many households are run by women. And I think that this is a great advantage for Citi if they take if they really make it clear that Jane Fraser is coming in and wants to do well for the American consumer. Now, obviously, this is a worldwide company. David, the reason why I think this is so significant is because we're really starting to see some women get to higher levels. We're not seeing minorities get to higher levels, which is disappointing. But women are starting to get I had two women CEOs on Friday. I mean, we're seeing women in tech. We're seeing women in banking. So maybe the glass ceiling to some degree is being cracked. Maybe, maybe not enough. No, uh, obviously not. No. Uh, and in banking, it's interesting. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. I mean, she comes in at a crucial juncture. You heard was it Mike Mayo talking earlier on Squawk Box saying, some, I mean, he typically will say, some things that uh, others won't no. talk about. I'm surprised he wasn't in my uh, spaces. He, I, you know, I don't want to quote him. I mean, I heard it, and I, but I can't remember exactly. But he, he, he didn't mince words when he came to the disaster he seemed to feel that that, uh, that city was very recently, yeah, and, he and really, certainly whoa. in terms of the, their systems yeah. failure. Whoa. Well, there were issues that Revlon business. And they don't have to, they, they're not getting that money back. No. You saw the most recent ruling from a judge. I think half a billion of it was not returned and doesn't need to be. That was for incredible. the payment that was incorrectly sent that was by incredible. City on behalf of Revlon, that city is city's money, not Revlon's. Right. The, c- yeah. the uh, stock is still below a uh, tangible book, so they could continue to buy. I'd like to see her analysis of whether she wants to continue to buy the way that Mike, Michael Corbett did. I do think that mm. uh, J.P. Morgan is still by far the but, leader. Well, you like the banks here, though, overall? I mean, they've had a great move as a group. Uh, over the course of the year, you point out J.P. Morgan. I mean, it is up 17 percent off its most recent highs. But, you know, you're still talking about very close to its all time highs. Right. Well, you've got one of the situations, Carl, where as rates go up, people love them until rates go up so much that people hate them. And uh, and business activity is is uh, slowed down. Uh, we do need you mentioned lumber uh, on the very jarring Home Depot call. Uh, lumber's doubled in a year. Uh, copper was at four dollars and 17 cents. I mean, you know, copper, there's been two mines that have been restarted. Uh, so there's possibilities, and the Baltic freight has come down. But you know, Carl, that at a certain point, people are going to say, wait a second, uh, isn't housing going to cool uh, because rates are too high? Housing, there's a, you can get a three and a quarter uh, conforming right now, which is still really, really low. But uh, I do think mm-hmm. that the people who love the banks turn on them very quickly if they hear anything bad about bad loans. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.